electricity. It's all around us. In almost all aspects of modern living, from the 24-hour day to media, communications, and information systems, the so-called global village and our shared electronic culture to ideas, images, and perceptions that transcend time and space. In fact, more than half the technology and inventions for the past hundred years, for instance, have been influenced or made possible by electricity. Ultimately, life as we know it is powered by electricity. We can no longer do without it. It is almost as vital a resource as air or water or even food. And yet, most of us don't know what it is and how it works. So let's start with a simple question. Where did it all begin? Here, with this lump of amber. Ancient scientists have long been aware that electricity existed. Although they didn't call it electricity back then, as early as 600 BC, the Greek Thales of Miletus described a strange phenomenon. He noticed that when amber, a substance they thought of as gold, was rubbed against fur, it glowed faintly and attracted small particles of straw and fur. Incidentally, the Greek word for amber is electron, which is derived from elector, meaning beaming sun. Sounds familiar? But then the Greeks, more interested in other pursuits, left it at that. It wasn't until 1600 AD when a British scientist William Gilbert, in developing a theory of magnetism, experimented with amber and other substances. Gilbert was the first to use the terms electricity, electric force, magnetic pole, and electric attraction. His experiments on amber and other substances fueled other thinkers and inventors for the next 350 years. Their names survived and are forever immortalized in history and science books and everyday usage. Now let's go back to amber. What the ancient Greeks once thought of as a golden stone was in fact a fossilized resin made from tree sap. In the film Jurassic Park, dinosaurs were cloned from dinosaur DNA extracted from insects trapped in amber. In reality, we mostly associate fossils with fossil fuels, but these started forming before dinosaurs even walked the earth. Today, we generate electricity by converting energy mostly from these fossil fuels. The thing is, these fossil fuels are a limited resource. What took hundreds of millions of years to create a gallon of gas, once you've burned it, it's gone. Just like the dinosaurs. Our supply of fuel, oil, gas, and coal will run out someday. Does that mean we can't generate electricity anymore then? Fortunately, there are alternative sources of energy, like solar, geothermal, hydroelectric, wind, and others which have the added benefit of having less impact on the environment as well as being renewable or sustainable. While more and more developments into these alternative sources of energy are being made every day, it is true that the world is still very much dependent on heavily polluting fossil fuels. But as long as there's a future, there's always a shiny hole.